For years, the Old Time Tribune newspaper office on Grand Avenue in Mancus, Colorado, sat boarded up and abandoned. And when someone finally looked inside, the building yielded a hidden treasure that's now the centerpiece of a growing art scene. You're watching the Local News Network. I'm Wendy Graham Settle. That treasure turned out to be several treasures. The office held a 19th century Cranston letterpress, a smaller Chandler, and Price Treadle press. Drawers of lead type of different fonts and sizes, engraved illustrations, and nearly a century's worth of newspapers that chronicled the history of the region from 1893 until 1970. Today, the building has been restored, so have the presses. And now, the Old Mancus Times Tribune newspaper office has been serving as an active community art center since last year. The Mancus Common Press Studio offers artists workshops on using the letter presses, and it's a little bit of a museum too, where longtime journalists come to reminisce. So it's kind of been a mixture of finishing up the space and doing some classes at the same time. So we've had about four or five classes, and it's, I think it's a toss between a museum and an art studio. It's not really one or the other, because a lot of people just wander in and want to ask questions about the press and know a little bit about letterpress. The Mancus Times was founded in 1893, a year before the town of Mancus was incorporated. It later merged with the competing Mancus Tribune, moved into the Grand Avenue office in 1910, and purchased what was then called a country press, because the 9,000-pound contraption could be shipped relatively easily to rural areas. It was used until 1970 when the Times Tribune converted to Offset and printed its editions on the presses at the Cortez Journal. The Ballantine family, owners of the Durango Herald, purchased the newspaper, eventually merged it with the Cortez Journal, and boarded up the old building. After the Cranston Press was discovered, the Ballantines donated the building and press equipment to the Mancus Common Press and helped to fund its restoration, including a mural called Yesterday's News that artist Wyatt Goodell painted in 2014. The nonprofit also received grants from the Colorado Historical Society and expertise from U University of Pennsylvania Press experts. It played an enormous role in the origin of the town and the growth of the town. And along with the building, we uh, inherited about 100 years of the, the old newspapers. And I just got a small grant from um, a museum foundation in Denver so that we can at least start to store those newspapers correctly. And at some point, we'll probably try and bring them out and use them in what we print in classes, get some of the old um, news of the town and who went to Denver for their grand granddaughter's birth and that kind of thing. The Mancus Common Press hopes the art studio will become an economic driver that builds upon Mancus's recent designation as a creative arts district. Mancus has really, in the last few years, just developed itself, established itself as an arts community. So making use of the presses and combining it with contemporary types of printing is kind of the direction we want to go ultimately. To learn more about the Cranston Press and artist workshops, visit MancusCommonPress.com. Thanks for watching this edition of Local News Network. If you'd like to see this story again, visit our website where you can sign up to have us deliver your news directly to your inbox. I'm Wendy Graham Settle for the Local News Network.